Alright guys, so today I'm going to be going from Noob to Pro with the new Octopop Tailed Spirit in Shinder Life. So yeah guys, get straight into the video. Alright guys, you can see here we are in the main menu of Shinder Life and we're going to be going to the edit menu. This is my character of Killer B. I tried to look like Killer B. This is the closest thing I can get to, I think in my opinion anyways. So today all we'll be using is his sword, which we'll be unlocking at the end of the video. We're going to be using his ink bloodline, which we're going to be using straight away of course. And we do have a tailed beast already bought. So first step is to actually go into a normal ember village and go rank up real quick. So let's go rank up because we are going to be leaving Y I'm pretty sure because we're such a high level right now. So let's go to ember village real quick. Guys, I can't can't lie, this has been the hardest tailed beast to get for me so far. I spent over six hours grinding this boss. So guys, it would mean a lot if you guys can smash like subscribe button. Because this video has took me so long. Without even recording, it took me six hours to start. So yeah, please make sure you do leave that sub button and the like if you do enjoy this video. Alright, so let's go quickly to our um it's over there. So or let's quickly first of all, before we do anything, I want to buy it. I'm pretty sure I bought it already, but let's check. Because yeah, if you don't buy it, you can't buy it. Let's see. Okay, there we go, boy. So let's equip this bad boy. And uh when does the mode actually equipped? Oh, you just get there's no um, mode for this which is quite nice okay these are pretty expensive we should have enough money i think by the end of this we'll have enough money how much is the sword hopefully the sword isn't too heavy too much it's an instrument so let's check oh four million you know we'll go for the sword and the bloodline we can get that at the end it's all good all right let's quickly teleport over there hokage mansion baby all right let's go this took me so long guys holy and we're going to be getting this bloodline guys level 1500 so yeah stay tuned in for that but here we are let's rank up real quick all right so we ranked up so first of all uh let's check out our stats so our stats are six thousand. so let's put all of our starts into taijutsu so i can get the most out of me hitting the logs let's mod up for the first time pretty sure you can mod up straight away into form one there we go form one baby okay it looks actually pretty pretty nice q spec oh yeah it's got an in q spec which is quite nice i can't wait to actually try this out so yeah let's start the grind so i'm gonna stay here till around level like i'll say 300 so i get level 300 ish and i'll be right back just enough for me to get the first move here and uh, yeah when's more two let me check form two is at it's at level 500 so we won't be able to get form two but yeah we're gonna quickly level up get the first move at least of this bloodline or it may maybe actually second move we go around doing like a couple of green scroll quests and then after that i'll get the max level and showcase everything at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned in for that but let's start this grind auto click on all right guys so here we are after a decent while i actually managed to unlock my first team moves of this mode and i think i got to a pretty decent level let me check real quick all right 184 which is quite nice tail beasts are actually extremely hard to level up so this can take us a while we're going to be doing a quick of like two to three green scroll quest missions so let's do these real quick right where is it where is it? okay so over there so yeah let's go quickly jump over there oh i like his feet i like how his feet actually have like octopus and i do like his design i do love the tail or the gen 3 designs they are so so good but here we are anyway so we're literally so close and there we go we've made it so let's check out the q spec oh that does damage all right let's check out the z spec which is going to be a uh, tail beast of course like all the other ones all right let's check out the first move of this what is this <gasps> oh my god that looks so clean oh my god the first move of ink octa ink it looks so clean check out the second move oh my I got the first one looks so clean holy the second one's like the ink the boss uses which is the probably the most annoying move in Chinda life but well, okay this actually looks pretty you know what we're gonna be doing three green, green skull quests because there's a lot to like try them out more right, let's teleport there we go but yeah we're going to be unlocking the weapon too so we need to grind some uh, money later on it's four mil should be able to get a decent amount later on once we find more bosses so we'll unlock it by the end of the video guys but here's another green skull quest real quick oh yeah the m1s are a little bit like just basic m1s for gen 3 tailed spirits all right let's fly over there oh they're, they're so far away it's so annoying well like you know what let's check out the first move i'll check out the first move by itself see how good the first move is all right there we go you can aim where it goes and it stuns oh my god and then you can just like use whatever move you want oh my god it stuns too that is actually so broken the first move of ink is so broken i right, you know i'm gonna do one more green scroll quest because that was just so broken holy all right here we are to the final green scroll quest so let's talk to him all right let's accept this bad boy real quick all right there we go so where did we go now okay we go all the way down there okay let's go right, let's teleport over there okay why can't i teleport Oh, I can't use my kunai. That's so annoying. Well, let me quickly kill these guys. Let's see how fast we kill them. Just, I think, one hit and then straight. Oh, they died instantly. Never mind. Holy, yeah, this bloodline. Oh, this tailed beast is so good. And the bloodline is so amazing, too. But yeah, guys, now I'm going to quickly go level up to max level because I don't really want to showcase too much of the grinding. There's so much grinding to do with this. Like, I mean, so much. So yeah, I'll just come back, guys, when I unlock everything. So yeah, guys, I'm going to be right back. All right, guys, and we're finally back after such a long period of grinding. Like, so long. That was over a day of grinding, and I'm finally back. I managed to max out my tailed beast. I managed to get my new weapon, uh, which is the. Uh, let me quickly find it here, real quick. Here it is, the instrument. It's right here. Let's equip this bad boy. It looks so clean. Like, it looks amazing. And we also managed to max out 
our bloodline by every single move and we also managed to get our tail beast to max there's one more step we have to do before i can showcase the whole bloodline is to actually go fight the spirit or get byron mode basically so we have to put i'm pretty sure it's this command right uh, we can teleport to the boss fight i'm pretty sure it's this command or do we have to be in the mode i think i, I might spell it wrong actually all right so you have to go to this okay let me quickly uh go there all right teleport into spirit boss fight okay so let's go oh okay i'm actually really excited because oh my god this <laughs> has took so long we're finally the finish line we can finally finish this whole video off overall guys the eight tailed spirit is actually such a good spirit it's by far so far my favorite one out of the gen threes so yeah i'm actually really excited to see kurama hopefully he comes out in the next two weeks or so that's gonna be an amazing amazing tailed beast i just can't wait for him kurama is always the best one out of every single one even better than the ten tails in my opinion design wise so i'm really excited to see how they're gonna do him in the gen 3 format but let's start this boss fight Alright guys, we finally completed the boss fight. That was such a hard boss fight. I had to use Jinnah Dokai there to help me out. Because yeah, that guy is so annoying to fight with just like a normal uh, mode. But yeah, now we can finally showcase every single form of this mode. The weapon and the bloodline. So yeah guys, let's quickly go showcase all of that. Alright guys, here we are. So we have a couple of locks here. So we're going to be starting off by showcasing the bloodline and also the weapon. So let's start off with the bloodline. Here's the first move of the bloodline. So yeah, you do like an ink particle explosion. It's quite nice. So yeah, it's actually pretty, pretty decent. Here's the second move so you use this and you can aim where you want to go you can auto track you just press it again press your click button and there we go your m1 and then it just it stuns them which is so good by the way here is the final move which is basically just summon tentacles and it's an aoe and it does like really good damage to you it's like 100k damage now we're showcasing the weapon so the weapon has only like m1s the m1s look pretty decent it's an instrument type weapon and yeah so the q spec is actually pretty nice to use the q spec and yeah you just summon tentacles around and you trap everyone around you so it's pretty pretty clean now we're on to the big boy the big boy himself the tailed beast so here's the form one guys so it has pretty normal m1 so the exact same as gen 3 m1s it has no e spec and it has a q spec which is just like an ink bomb and the z spec is right yeah it's just a massive tail well tailed beast bomb so yeah here's form two guys so you become more corrupted by the ill tailed beast and you look pretty pretty nice here's the q spec for this mode so yeah this is amazing look at this look at those parts wow uh, it has an e spec too so it's like a like a like a barrage of tailed beast bombs and finally end it off with a z spec which is just a bigger tailed beast bomb here is form 3 guys so form 3 you fully get corrupted by the 8 tailed beast and your yeah, m1s become insane uh, did i showcase m1s or form 2 i'm going to showcase their form 2 m1s here's the form 2 m1s so yeah and form 3 m1s are the exact same but with just more particles i feel like actually no it's the exact same m1s here's the q spec for this form so it's the same one as the bloodline move the second bloodline move it's pretty nice and it stuns and it's pretty pretty good here's the e spec for this mode you grab someone and yeah look at this oh my god look at this just, oh my god look at that 300k damage holy here's the z spec guys for form 3 it's like this and then yeah it's pretty pretty nice and finally form four the one that everyone's been waiting for you're fully you fully became the eight tails here so yeah let's quickly roll the part real quick here are the m1s the m1s yeah holy this guy looks so clean here are the m1s here is the q spec guys yeah look at this he's just summoned the guy you do the combo too you grab him with the combo you summon the guy around he does damage level 3000 and you look oh my i didn't even press anything oh, wow that that e spec is busted here is the e spec which is just a tail beast bomb so yeah you just can charge it and then you let go and yeah it just explodes it's like a counter skill basically but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you smash like subscribe button this video has took like over 12 hours to make guys so please please consider subscribing and you can of course you can always change your mind after also make sure you smash like button if you haven't already and i'm gonna catch you all next time peace out